It's your boy Marico. Million Mo Easy. And we have a guest here today. Very special guest. Yes, 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 yes. What's going on? Talk to us, lady. Good, how y'all doing? Thanks, everybody. Uh-huh, had to throw you in the mix right quick. Greetings. So what's going on? You just dropped a project with DJ 837. It's called? Vibe With Me. Vibe okay, with and it's called Vibe With Me. One of the last tracks on it is Vibe With Me. Yeah, and I'm just vibe 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 too. feeling the whole vibe yeah. of the, the project. You have a real neo-soul-eccentric type of sound. You know what I mean? I, um, who is some of your influence? I can tell oh, Laura, Laura Hill and uh, Eric oh, Badu yeah. some, to some way, which is what you do with your do right? on, you know what <laughs> Definitely, um, those are always like my first two people I would say. Mm -hmm. So how did you people. get like that? Or like why or how why was they such an influence? What what, um, what what message did they give you that really stuck with you that made you, you know, really mm -hmm. have that stand out type of image where mm -hmm. you're you're you empowering and the certain symbolism and stuff that you use? It was really like their aura cause Mm -hmm. You know, I got into them as a little girl, and I wasn't, I didn't even know what they was talking about for real. Mm -hmm. But it was just the whole overall vibe and everything, and just, you know, like you said, like that soul and everything. That's what captivated me first. Mm -hmm. And then just, I guess over time, just as a child, listening to them, and that message kind of stuck. And How long have you been doing music? Um, I want to say... I really got serious and full on into it back in 2012. Mm -hmm. and I was like, you know, this is what I'm going to do with my life. How old are you now? So, I'm 27. Okay. So, what is the overall message uh, that you really are, are, are pushing for? Because it's, you know, it's a lot of things that I can, that you talk about, but what is like mm -hmm. your, 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 your conscious telling you to, that needs to happen to change things because it seems like you're at you know, uh, ease with the way things are in society mm -hmm. right now. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, the overall thing that I push is, you know, just everyone to be their higher self, like the most self that you can be and each day, day to be better. Um, my brand is Supreme Dijon and being Supreme is just, you know, just always elevating and going to that next level so i feel like with everybody if if, it's, if you're a woman um us colored people or melanated people that's the, the mm -hmm. better term Somebody you know you good. if we're all aiming to be our higher selves we're going to really tap into who we, tr who we truly are so what made you want to do the project with dj 837 though because uh, shout out to dj yeah shout out to dj 837 also dj anonymous is on the track oh yeah that's the homie too yeah mm -hmm. right for sure right okay. yeah i did um oh yeah he was cool. definitely all all over mm -hmm. the project shout out anonymous mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying okay Thanks but um me. what made you want to go with them rather you know i mean uh, to, to explain to the people because it seems like a lot of people go with a lot of DJs, but mm -hmm. you see some DJs, they, you know, they kind of have a lock on certain, you know, projects, certain, certain type ways. of projects. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what it was with 837, um, it already was kind of connection there. Um, I wrote with SMS, I'm very intertwined with them, and they were connected with DJ 837, and... You know, he was out, he's working, he, he does his thing, so, mm -hmm. was, you know, why not reach out to who's out here, it. and I really want the stuff to be heard, and he has a platform of all, a, array of audience, so, mm -hmm. you know, why not so reach out to him. Um, DJ Anonymous, you know, I was really just going off of a list, and I was like, reaching out to DJs and he happened to be one he listened to the stuff that I sent him he loved my music and you know it, it all been authentic from mm -hmm. there once I reached out to DJ Anonymous so very supportive mm -hmm. from the dude so you've been affiliated and stuff with the DC Top 20, the whole movement that Anonymous got going on as well? Oh yeah, um, definitely shout out to DC Top 20. They've been showing me love. Um, I've been getting some shout outs and all that. When I dropped my Black Walls video, they actually premiered it on their site. So I definitely appreciate that. Okay. Um, shout out to DC Top 20 and I'm excited just to see what they do and what they go with. So what you got coming up? What's next for you? Um, you still you gonna push the EP, of course. Yeah, I'm pushing the EP. Um, hoping to do a a few more visuals. Right now, I have the vibe with me video. 
I have Infinite video and I have the Black Walls video. So everybody can check that out at SupremeDijon.com. So what else are you doing to push these vi these visuals and you know your material, the project, all that good stuff? Shows. Man, nothing. I feel like I need to be doing so much, but right That's now. That's how I felt when I looked you up. I was like. How come I ain't never seen her before? You mm -hmm. know what I mean, like. And that's that's. And, all but I'm is. glad that you don't show up to the circuit where you're not wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's plenty of places where I could have <laughs> seen you, and I'd have been like, oh fuck no. Yeah, not yeah, even yeah. saying I don't want to hear what you're saying. It's just, it's just not going right to resonate right with the that people that's there, yeah. and that's a lot of times mm -hmm. with the eclectic, eclectic artist, artists that are in the area. Mm -hmm. You know, they kind of. You definitely have to know your audience, mm -hmm. man. You know, not to say I can't go to those places, just what material am I bringing to those places, mm -hmm. you know. It's, ain't going to be nothing ignorant because I'm always me, but, you know, I still got my, yeah, shit. <laughs> you yeah. know. <laughs> but it's still going to have mm -hmm. some type of message behind it, but it's definitely, I still have some that would go with, like, all types of crowds. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where it comes in, the, being an artist, just having a variety of, of sounds. Mm -hmm. So you don't have any shows, any places that you're about to be at for the people to come see you soon? Soon? No. Um, Y'all just, you have to follow me and stay up to date. We might gotta everything. change that. We might. We might yeah. have to change that. We um, might have to do something and put you on the phone. Um, right now, I've been focusing on just, you know, new music, new material and everything. Just, you know, a new wave because that project was from last year. So I'm just... Run one something fresh, something new. Everyone moves on so fast, so mm -hmm. you know I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm thankful for the vibe with me EP and everything. I'm now going to stop con pushing it, but mm -hmm. it's time for something fresh to just keep the people here and engaged. And I'm excited to see where I take it because I'm always in competition with myself. So mm -hmm. right now I'm like. Wow, it's about to be hotter than the vibe with me EP, and I'm excited that I got some materials coming. Yeah, coming. but I really want to describe, like, you kind of do your thing. You spitting, and you got the harmony yeah. thing going on, mm -hmm. so it's just like, you know, do you feel like you one of the best female lyricists on here? Because you, you kind of got bars, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was going to ask you, like, as far as, you know, females, artists mm -hmm. in the DMV area, I mean, we already established that you, Erica Badu, Lauren Hill, Inspire, but... Is there anybody locally that you feel like you in that category? If you drop the name, who would it be? Um, I would say Bird. I feel like I say her name a lot, but definitely Bird. Bird, and the the one who did Made in the DMV. Was it Angela Bird? No. No, oh, she okay. just go by Bird with a Y. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, she's out here doing great things in the city, and you know she spits. You know, we. Mm. I feel like we're in two different avenues. But, but she got you know, she Yeah, she bars. spit. And it's no knocking that. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's what her name is. So many females in the DMV. I actually just did a project with the Resurrecting Queen. So I got to know even more females that's out here in the mm -hmm. DMV. So shout out to Ken Ruth Katrina. Um, mm. She's definitely of someone who I've been inspired by. I know she's been out here doing it for a minute and you know, just you can always learn from everyone. So yeah. and her stage presence is crazy. Yeah, we can, we can be stage. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the like a Layla Capri? You ever heard of Layla mm -hmm. Capri? I actually <laughs> met her um briefly but when when I came across her and I checked it out, it was, you know, mm -hmm. I like it. It's fun. Do you feel like, like the, your though, since you guys kind of have a different type of um, message behind your music, like, mm -hmm. do you do you think it really resonates with people as far, or the the more conscious music resonates with people because she's kind of like rapping a lot, but yeah. it doesn't really go anywhere. So sometimes, you um, know what I mean? It's more so of the not necessarily swag rap because she's saying stuff, but it doesn't really hit you like. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a Lauren Hill would hit you compared. You know, to I like can't speak on it too much because I ain't gonna sit here and act like I went into detail like with her music mm -hmm. and like actually really listen to like projects and all that. You know, like I I follow her on social media and I see her. Mm -hmm. I might go and check out that link that day, but yeah, she you know. had dope visuals. Her visuals. Yeah. Like so, 
Um, I have to come back to that after I really I you know, go into yeah. that with her music. But um, my thing is to each his own. Even if you're not on the conscious side and you're not out here putting poison into our children's heads, you know, I don't mind that. And it's like where I come from. Well, what do you from, consider poison? Um. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> this is what, what I would say. I give, I always give the scenario of, you know, you don't want to put any negative things out there. So for those who are from the struggle and they're rapping about the struggle and they're putting their life on, you know, on record, that's that's art. They're rapping their life. You know, you can't. I I can't be upset about that. And if they're out here and they, they're telling these street stories and they're, they're put, presenting it in a way of like, I'm telling you this so you don't do this. I'm telling you this so you know how bad it is. I mean, but they're glorifying it. It's not no, like I'm saying, saying that's what I'm... If so, you're so glorifying where's, where's, where's it, that's the a difference. the disconnect between glorifying it and, and living your life? Because some people that live their life, they're glorifying it. Like, yeah. Yeah. They're I mean, not saying the, that, oh, I don't want you. they like, this is my everyday that's life. That's where the and difference comes trap, in. Trap, 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 trap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to do. If you're putting it, if that's your life, life, you putting it out there, but then you you glorifying it and you're actually celebrating it and you're like, yeah, this is what it is. This is that's the party. That's not this poison? Is, that is the poison. I'm saying if you're not glorifying it, if you're just... You just grew up like that. That's all you know, and that's all you. That's what you have to put on wax, and you you're telling your story. It's a different form, like you know. Think of like um, I don't know, like Scarface or something, like you mm -hmm. know, like they will rap their lives. There's a lot of people out here that will rap that struggle. They would rap that they went to jail, and they but they would tell it from the a more poetic side they would tell it from this is what they they story that they have to tell they would tell you how hard it was why they was locked up and why they shouldn't have did this or maybe just i don't know y'all get what i'm saying i got it <laughs> it's just it's just a different i feel like you're giving like, too many people passes <laughs> <laughs> like Nobody, nobody getting passes it's just it's art it's you like don't don't glorify life. don't glorify i'm don't glorify it. That's yeah. all you gotta. Yeah, you, you that. can't glorify it. Yeah, that uh, I bust you in the face and celebrate after that's not cool. Yeah, like it's a it's but a difference. But if you walk up on me, you get busted in the face in school. And you know, so if you like, oh, let's say it like this. Yeah, oh my God! If you sit there and repeat it, I bust him in the he face. Bust him in the face. Bust him in the face. He walk up on me, you get busted. That is glorified. He's a reason, because I ain't saying he. He's a whoa. That nigga over there. That was hate nigga. He is a freak nigga. Hey, what you gonna say? 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 <laughs> Back to the but um so yeah um what what's next for you you know you said you don't really um yeah, no shows you don't really do too many shows either. in this area you know um not saying that I do there shows. isn't there isn't there, what there, happens there, now, it's not consistent that's all right. Those shows coming up yeah. right 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 see what what happens is like <laughs> lately I've been doing my actual events or mm -hmm. I've been partnering with some people to like. You know, we're actually doing events mm -hmm. I, um, with SMS. Shout out Sacrifice Meal Society. Um, Sacrifice what? Sacrifice Meal Society. Yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, we've been actually putting events together and actually been inviting artists to come out and to perform at the, you know, getting venues and stuff. So that's kind of where I'm at now. And some of the and venues just, that you're looking at. Um, I like... To Tacoma Station, I've been there a few times, um, and the left, and just trying to get more, uh, <laughs> I mean, I feel like we changed the whole dynamic, I understand yeah. it was like a, a whole aura surrounding the left yeah. and everything, and I've actually been around a few times for it, but, you know, when, when we came in, we, we changed the whole dynamic, because we came in with all this. It was just different, and the people that we bought out were, different. you know, they came out to really just enjoy the art. So, you know, we we did pretty good. 
But y'all work y'all not working on nothing coming up soon. Mm. You know, weather about to break, man. We need yeah, to um, we need some exclusive. Right and I've been performing live with shout out Black Dynasty, the band. Um, oh yeah. So shout out those guys. When I do perform, um, more than likely you might catch me live with the band or with some live instruments. So that's always pretty dope. Um, but yeah, right now, I, like I said, I've just been working on the music. And well, we love the work. Some, we want y'all to download I'm trying to get right some now. fresh stuff out for y'all right yeah, now. So, so that's tuned. really been the focus. Um, performances are coming up. So y'all make sure y'all just y'all have to follow me to kind of keep up with that. But make sure y'all download the Vibe With Me EP right now. Yeah. Spin Rilla, hosted by Spinrilla, DJ 837. Audio Mac, everything on SupremeDijon.com. Uh, so plug. make sure y'all... Check out the website so you yes. can stay up to date. Yes, today. most definitely. So I want to thank you for coming out and rocking yeah, yeah. with us. You know, it's been cool. We love the vibe, you know. Um, and I want to thank everybody else for tuning in. Now we tuning out. Mariko. Million Mo Easy. DB the Basement Special Guest.